up. There we go. Alrighty, hey, hi, hello. So, we are back on the Charmed SMP today. I actually, like, properly... Sorry, gotta stretch. <sighs> I properly, um... Got all the good stuff set up. Uh, because, yeah, it was being fussy last stream, so that's why I decided to do 1.17 instead of Charmed. But, we are here now, and that's all that matters. Um... But beyond that, um, what was I thinking? Oh, my, my brain go, um, I did get some enchants on my weapon, so I'll, I'll go over those once we get, you know, past the start and suit music. Um, so I'm excited about that, but yay. Um, speaking of enchants, what's it got on it right now? What you got? Oh, you're gonna be fussy. All right, whatever. Um, ba -ba -ba, let's see what we got. I actually, my other SMP that I'm on made a specific request for me to um, try to ensure that all of the like quote unquote weapons that I would use would have. Um, fire aspects, because, you know, Mordecai's part blaze. And I do think that's very clever. I'm just trying to figure out how I would, like, consistently pull that off, if that makes sense. Um, but it is what it is. But, let's see. I do think I am going to be trying to get, um, hello, Revenge, sorry, I, I got sidetracked, but, um, I do know that plans that I have for today, I am planning on, um, how do I phrase it, I am planning on trying to go netherite mining, if I can, fingers crossed, I don't know how well that's going to go, um, I'm actually going to make myself a gold hat because all I have right now are boots and I have Frostwalker on my boots and I would very much like to keep that considering, you know, my current constitution. Hello, Stallion. How are you, dear heart? Welcome to the stream. We're about to switch over to the game player in a second. Alright, come on. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There we are. Hello, everyone. Uh, tips on netherite mining. I, I know a lot of the tips, like the, the, the bed trick and stuff like that. Um, like, I'm not gonna say no. I'm just... I do know a fair bit of the tips and tricks. I'm actually also gonna try to get chance going on my... armor real quick here. Um, since I've got the enchanted station up. So we're gonna do that. Also... Um, uh, I'm alright, I'm alright, but, um, also, I do have a show recommendation for you if you have Netflix. Uh, shoot. Well, never mind, I guess. Um, but, um, if you guys have Netflix, I highly recommend, um, there is a show on it right now called Centaur World. Um, and I highly recommend it, especially um, if you were on Tumblr, like, with at, at any capacity, but, like, especially when it was at its height, because a lot of Centaur World's humor hinges on humor very much in line with uh, classic Tumblr. Like, there's stuff on there that I literally, I'm watching and I'm like, that that's just Tumblr. That's just Tumblr humor. Um, in a good way, not in a negative way. Just, I found it interested. Okay, give me that. Alright. So we have our enchanted shovel. We're gonna see what time it is, because it's probably headed towards night time. My only fear is because the spawn is in a um, crimson forest. 
I'm not so much worried about the, the piglets, I'm worried about the hoglids. But we will see. And especially because this server is on hard mode, which makes my life worse. Because I'm not very good at the game. Alright, let's get up. I like that I'm like, I might wait till night time because, because, uh, th this reason and this reason, and then I immediately leave. Alright, let's see, chat. What are we gonna be working with? Also, the H for anyone who was not in the past couple of Charmed SMP streams or who forgot is for Honeyhaven, which is another one of the nations on, uh, on the server. So, right now, I'm aware of... Honeyhaven, being one of the nations. Theoretically, you could call Ashen Grove a nation, but it's only got one person in it, so I don't know. Eh. Um, and it's also not super built up. You also have, um, I don't believe, uh, yes, it's Java. Um, I don't believe that uh, the train station that the server owner is making he hello uh this wasn't here last time chat the nether is getting more developed and that's interesting I'm just gonna burrow into the wall here oh well somebody clearly did that over there um I'm gonna do that right here I think but up 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 Alrighty, let's go, chat. Uh, how deep do I want to go? I get to like Y level like fa fa. I forget. It's fine. We'll just go down a little bit. And because, well. I guess we're going down that much, because that's no pass go there. Um, but um, since I have a blaze board, it won't be that bad if something happens in terms of like lava or whatever. The only bad bit would be if I like uh, lose whatever I'm mining into the, the lava itself. And obviously the really bad bit would be if I die, because uh, unlike my normal worlds, where I love myself and what do you know, um, not suffer, um, uh, on this world, suffer it is a part of life, I guess, question mark, I don't know. Um, oh. I just want to, I want to go down to the earth. I don't want to deal with that. But yeah, Centaur World was created by, like, someone who's very obviously old school Tumblr. Um, it, like, there are points where it becomes obvious when somebody's, like, bread and butter site is Tumblr. Like, it should be fairly obvious that my bread and butter site is Tumblr. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to... See where we are in the grand scheme of things, but um, there's also like a lot of stuff that's very clearly influenced by like old Tumblr culture. Like a lot of the way the centaurs move is very like, at least in my opinion, distinctly based on that post where someone was talking about. So for those of you who aren't into old school Tumblr culture, uh, there was a very popular post back in the day. Um, that if I recall, the artist who answered this call was a Guada Mouth. Um, but it was somebody talking about how horses, baby horses, have to get up within, like, 15 minutes of being born, right? Baby humans take nine months, so how do centaurs, or, like, something like that, um, they, they take a while to be able to, like, sit up, stand up, whatever. Um, so... Our horses, or like our centaurs, like their bottom half is like already like ready to get up and run and walk, and their top half is just like flo flopping around. Um, so a lot of the visual humor was very much steeped in that ideology. Um, but yeah, 
Centaur World. It's one of those shows that really like. Hang on. Why is my machine not? Yeah, hang on. I need to refresh my mod machine because it was being fussy. Hello. There it is. Um. But um. Oh, I lost my train of thought. But it's very much steeped in a lot of like internet culture humor, and also Glendale is the single best character in the entire show. Would I tell you I adore Glendale so much? Um, their base. He hello. Oh, I must be under the road. They're based on a very, very specific uh, type of antelope, which is one of those, like, crazy long-legged looking things. Um, my partner said they're what they think they're based on last night, and I'm completely blanked. Um, but, um, but they're just very long legs, long neck, long, like, everything. Uh, but like, they're amazing. I, I, I love Glendale with all my heart. They're just very cursed too. That's the other thing about Glendale is they're extremely cursed looking. Um, cause for one, half of their, their face is taken up by their eyes. Um, and then like. I, I have no words to describe Glendale in a way that matters, like, I, I, they are so good, and, like, a lot of the animation is really good, and also, like, if you're into songs, there's a lot of music and stuff, and there's also very obvious references to, like, different th theater kid culture, like, there is an entire episode that literally got so close to the tone and, like, I almost said texture and then realized that made no sense, but to the, like, energy of the Cats musical that it, I literally thought I was watching Cats for a split second. Um, specifically, they're referencing a couple of bits from Jellicle Ball and The Overture. And I will say, like, this show is one of those shows that, like, it lulls you into a false sense of security and then pulls the rug out from under you without you even realizing that someone was there to, to begin with. Bruh, I have never had a Fortune 3 pickaxe. Y'all saw how few of those that I, I was interacting with, like, that, that I actually had. I had, like, probably, what, seven, nine? I... I am going to never let this pickaxe... There's a reason we're going for netherite right now. I want this pickaxe to be, you know, fully kitted out. Um, I also, in my 1.17 world the other day, I finally got my very first piece of netherite, like, kit. And it was... I think I put it on my chest, chest piece or something like that. Um, but anyway... I don't know, Chad. I just, I'm excited. And like I said, Centaur World was very good. We binged the whole thing last night, which if I if I seem sleepy, that's probably why. Um, but it's ten episodes, and they're only like 30 minutes each, so it's like a five-hour, like, binge. Um, this SMP Fortnite uh, HD uh, is not mine, so I can't make that decision. Um, and right now, I don't believe we're accepting applications. But thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Well, again, I'm a blaze board. It, I shouldn't be that nervous, but still. It still makes me a little nervous. But yeah, I really appreciate the follow. Uh, but yeah, this isn't my SMP, so I don't get to make the decisions on it. Alrighty, very good. Let's see. And, like, a lot of, like, the interesting things about the animation to me is, like, some of the animation in Centaur World is so lovingly rendered, like... Things that didn't need to be as well, like, done as they are, are incredibly well done. Um, it reminds me in a lot of ways of early Adventure Time and late Adventure Time. Like, not the middle bit, right? Like, but early and late Adventure Time is what it really reminds me of. Um, 
Which is probably the vibe they were going for, if I had to just venture a guess. Um, but it is what it is. All right, I'm going to need to probably cross the gap here at some point. Because I can't just keep, like, fussing around in the center. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm scared, chat. Hang on, I, I, I don't want to lose my pickaxe. I'm so scared. <gasps> my babies! Okay, it doesn't look like there's enough room for a ghast here. And I don't see a fortress, so I don't have to worry about a blaze. So I think I'll be okay for this crossing. <laughs> oh my god, Stallion. <laughs> if you had to adventure, I guess. Alrighty, but um... And like, as I recall, this project was in the works for a while. Like, I think it was being discussed back before the, the mass Tumblr exodus. Um, but the person who started this project is actually an old school Tumblr user. Um, bruh, I'm just trying to find netherite. Can you not right now? Don't be rude. Ba -ba -ba. Again, I'm not sure which of these is gonna like. Because theoretically, I should probably head down and like try to use the fact that I can go under the lava to look under the lava. Sorry, gotta stretch. Um, but I don't know. Why is my other machine being fussy? Um, as long as it's smooth on your guys' end, that's all that matters. But like, my machine's just being fussy for some reason. Because I have the old computer that I used to stream on, my PC, or my laptop. I have it over here as a moderator computer. Um, Alright, I'm slightly nervous because of the, uh... I know that we're over top of the lava. Yeah, that's why I was nervous, chat. Um, so I'm just gonna grab these little bits on the side. Oh. No, you're fine. Don't worry, man. I, I, fi I figured out what you were trying to say anyway. I'm pretty decent at that, considering how much I can't speak half the time, so... Most times, like, even if you say something kind of wrong, I'll probably be able to, to figure out what you meant. Bro. I mean, I don't even need that gold so much, but I want it. That's the problem. But yeah, Glendale is easily the best character. Also, um... Oh, why am I blanking on his name? It starts with a Z. Um, but there's a, a zebra, um, centaur, who, like... He's very much the campy, kind of like, like, the club gay guy, if you know what I mean. Uh, he's, ve he's very campy and, like, old school stereotypical, but, like, at first I thought it was going to anger me, but, like, honestly, it was kind of charming. Um, and I found him very entertaining. And all of their names are weird, right? Like, Glendale is probably, in spite of being one of the weirdest characters, she has the most normal name. Um, theoretically, like, our main character, who is a horse, is just named Horse. Um, hang on, Chad. I, I very nearly made a stupid, like, error there, so we're gonna try to make sure we're being a little more careful. Because I very nearly stood up over the pit. Um, and considering that I have my nice pickaxe and stuff that I actually want to keep, uh, I need to be more careful about that. Not, not the iron pickaxe, it's the, the diamond pickaxe that we're worried about right now. But, um, the main character is just a horse, which is hilarious in and of itself to just watch a, a normal horse interact with centaurs. Um, but then you also have, uh, like... Made, made like like our our like major secondary character like our major support and cast her name is Wama Winks instead of Mama Winks but she's a uh, alpaca uh, and then like a lot of my favorite characters are like characters like Water Baby and stuff like that um, 
and I'm not gonna spoil what Water Baby is, per by, uh, anyway. And then, honestly, one of the characters that I didn't expect to like as much as I did, there's a character named Jebri, uh, like Jeffrey, but with B. Um, uh, and when I tell you that Jebri stole the show every time he was on screen, I, I, Jebri is a sight to behold. They also managed to get away with a lot of meme culture references that I'm kind of surprised they managed to pull the wool over people's eyes on. Um, I'm gonna dig up a little bit, see about, like, because I don't want to keep, like, building support structures because it gets annoying after a while. Bow, bow, wow, wow. Um, maybe I'll just, like, go back this direction and, like, figure out something there. Because, like, you feel me, chat? It does get annoying having to, like, be cautious about this all the time. Also, can we talk about the one thing that if I had to trade every other texture back that I would not want to give up? is the current netherrack texture because for those of you who haven't played the game for a long time netherrack used to literally look like a red version of tv static um, and it was atrocious it, it was so hard on the eyes um, like there were times where straight up i'm like i can't go with it even though i like even on creative, I'd be like, I can't go in the nether because it hurts my eyes and I'm not feeling good. Bow, ba -dow, ba -dow, bow, bow, bow. That piglet startled me a little bit. It's fine, chat. Alright, let's see. Uh, I could hear that hog loaded. Why is something shooting crossbows? I sh it should it be. What time is it is the question. Uh, there we go. Okay. We have enough time to get home, I think. Oh, yeah, it's just daytime. Just turned daytime. Good, good, good. Very good. All right, let's see. Also, for those of you in my chat who are Rambu enjoyers, Watching that boy encounter BuzzFeed Unsolved for the first time in his life was incredible. Like, and they started him on one of... I know that it was Sneakstag who was recommended episodes to him because Sneak likes BuzzFeed Unsolved. Um, but he started him on possibly one of the best episodes, which is Goatman's Bridge. But, like, just watching Rambu, like... Because right at first he was like, haha, funny... But then by the end of it, he was, like, genuinely getting scared. And it... <laughs> I just... I couldn't help but chuckle at it, like... Because, like, right, like... Now, mind you, Buzz Seed Unsolved is not, you know... A, uh... A, uh... Great... Show, perchance? Like, it... it mm, Especially if you actually are an enjoyer of, like, that kind of, like, supernatural kind of stuff. Like, mm, it's questionable in how correct it is. And I absolutely appreciate that, Stallion. I really do. Um, no matter why you're here, I appreciate you being here. I mean, as long as, obviously, you're not here to, like be a jerk or whatever but um but yeah like i love watching people encounter things for the first time especially if it's things that i either know and whether or not i enjoy them is neither here nor there but like if it's things that i've directly interacted with in the past um i do need to like very much buckle down and like uh, I am gonna need more chests. Ah, shoot. I do have books if I want to go fuss around with my enchant table for a second. Uh, see what it'll give me. I probably need my lapis still. But, um... What was I gonna say? I don't know what else I was gonna say. 
It's fine, Chad. Don't worry about it. My, my brain... Y'all know me. I, I lose my tra 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 train of thought so much I should probably, like, get renter's insurance or something on it. Um, renter's insurance? It would be, like... It would be insurance, just not renter's insurance. What am I talking about? Bow. Bow. Alrighty, good. Give me a book. I just want one. Let's see. Unbreaking one and prot one. I don't really want those. I mean, I'll grab it. Just to, like, say I have it. And again, to mostly clear out the crafted table. Or the enchant table. I don't have enough to really make this worth it. Let me, let me go set this back. I should probably head over to Honeyhaven at some point and, um... And, uh... Have them, like... There's a spot that my buddy Spice showed me that you could sit in and it'll, like, dramatically, uh, it, uh, give you levels. Like, I don't know if it's a proper mob farm or what. I don't know, chat. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. I don't need that much wood on me. All right. I also don't need the pork chops like I need the beef because the beef is obviously what I have the most of so I'm gonna prioritize that um, let's see chat what do we have in here oh we had even more beef excuse me who is who's texting me it's my email go away email I'm streaming I'm busy be God alrighty but um but yeah, like, I genuinely enjoy watching, like, people react to stuff for the first time, especially if it's, like, old school internet, or not even old school internet culture, but, like, fairly popular internet culture. Like, um, it, it is weird that, like, people will call stuff that I consider, like, I consider more classic memes than ancient memes, they'll call them ancient, and I'm like, they're really not that old. Like, I think it was specifically someone reference. Sorry, gotta stretch. <clears throat> Referencing the Oh Lord, He Coming meme. The the one that... Th there's multiple, like, variants of it. Um, there's the one with the frog on a bike, which got kind of conflated with another meme. Um, which was the Here Comes the Boy or whatever. I forget specifically which one. Um, but and I, when I say boy, I mean B-O-I. Um... Not the, here comes the boy, but, um, and then it also was, it started with a, uh, it was a chart for, basically it was like a veterinarian chart of, like, showing healthy weights for cats, and someone took the descriptions of them, switched it out for the, if I recall it was... A fine boy, uh, a heck and chonk, and I know that the last one was like, oh lord, he coming, but like, there was one that was like, mega chonker, or something like that. Um, brain? Where did my brain go, chat? Chat, you stole my brain. I, I've lost my train of thought. Where, where is it? One of you has it, I know you do. I'm kidding, I love you guys. Um, uh, let's see. But, um, but yeah, like, they were calling that, like, an ancient meme, and I'm like, it's not really ancient, I would consider ancient memes to be, like, I don't know, like, not even Keyboard Cat is that old, but, like, things like, um, uh, uh, I don't know, chat, ouch. Well, at least I placed a thing. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Y'all y'all stole my brain. Give it back. <laughs> um, But then again, streaming just kind of does that to people. Like, you've probably heard, like, it, your favorite streamers or YouTubers talk about this, but, like, it is genuinely true. Something about streaming just does something to your brain. And, like, games that you've played for years just... And even, like, just playing with other people. Because I remember there is... I don't have the audio recorded of it. I wish I did. But a while back, 
when I was first learning how to play Terraria with my buddies, um, it was right when I was trying to get the uh, Meow Mirror. Um, that'll make sense to people who are fans of uh, Terraria. But it was right when the Meow Mirror was first introduced, so I was trying to get it. And um, my buddy and I, I had been playing off of our, like, joint worlds. Like, I hadn't been playing with anyone, and I was doing fine. And then I invited my buddy, because I was getting a little frustrated. And literally, even though I didn't die once when I was playing by myself, when my buddy showed up, I died five times. I managed to... There, there's And I, if I recall the clip, basically, that I... Because I transcribed what I what I, like, said that day, but it was basically, like, me me playing a game by myself. Nice. Calm. Um, didn't die once. Something like that. And then I was, like, me playing with friends. Um, unhinged screaming. Dies five times. New sword, but at what cost? Um, because, like, when I tell you the amount of times I died, because I think, as I recall... Um, that was the first time I experienced a solar eclipse in Terraria, which is basically, for those of you who are versed in Terraria, it's like a blood moon, but worse. Um, just like a more insufferable blood moon. Um, for one, because it's during the day. For two, because a lot of the creatures it summons can phase through walls. And for three, just because it's, at that point, you've activated hard mode on the, on the, the world you're on. Because it only happens after you've defeated the Wall of Flesh and all that good stuff. Um, and it's just miserable. I really do need to do a Terraria stream one of these days so I can show you guys my worlds because I'm very proud of them. Alrighty. I'm trying to decide what direction to go in this time because the direction we went in did not seem to be very fruitful. And it could be also that, like, because a bunch of these other... And mind you, I should probably do the bed mining method, but I don't feel like it uh because i know how to do it i just eh, you may, you know but is there a bee why is there a bee over here hello are you trapped oh seven's in chat for that bee anyway um but i don't know it's just weird when people call memes ancient that I consider just, like, more modern memes. Because they'll be calling it ancient, and it's only from, like, 2014. Like, I, I don't... Even though I consider them parts of Tumblr history, I don't consider any of the old-school Tumblr memes ancient. Like, at all, period, full stop. Um, I'm only going in he this way because I can hear hoglids, and I don't really want to deal with that. Let's see. I might just... One, I want to see where this road goes. This may connect to someone's... Yeah, I can see someone's portal up here. I'm gonna go through to see... Where this portal even goes. Uh, just to, like, see what's here. Because it could connect to another nation that I need to mark on my map. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, it connects up to... That's Huddy Haven. Where are we, chat? Whose house is this? Hello? Chat, I have no idea where we are. Whose house is this? I don't know, but it's scary. Um... I have no... I can hear a spider. Hi. This might be the server owner's place. Because he's working on, like, a trade station kind of get up. I don't know. We're going to go back to the nether chat. Because I don't want to deal with figuring out whose this is. Whose nation is it anyway? I mean. But, um, I'll figure that out later. But it's still here. And he actually made a very cool portal. Because technically, Mordecai would not make a portal, so there's a reason why Ashen Grove does not have a portal, aside from already being fairly close to one as is. Um, let's 
go this way, chat. Alrighty. Because technically in Mordecai's story, Mordecai is banned from the Nether. Fun fact. Um, I think I've, 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 I've discussed that before on streams. Oh, shoot. No. Didn't want that. But yeah, I definitely need to do a Terraria stream one of these days, because I adore Terraria. Uh, that is one of those games, though, that I do not ever want to, like, restart over with a new character, because, like, the amount of time and effort that I put into earning uh, my, the main character I play as, his kit, is embarrassing, to say the least. Um... I put so much effort into that. Same thing with why, like, if I have access to it, which usually you do, um, I will actually try to, like, uh, play Starbound. Like, if I get frustrated with Starbound, I'll just straight up turn on admin mode, which you can't do with Terraria. Um, Terraria doesn't have access to, like, what is functionally creative mode. Uh, but I'll just turn on admin mode because I get so frustrated because I'm like, I already did this before. I don't want to do it again, you know? Because, <laughs> like, Starbound's not as bad as Terraria. Um, Terraria's kind of unforgiven. Like, I know that there's a... Like, there there is many a meme about how difficult Terraria is compared to its, like, spiritual successors, that being, you know... Uh, Minecraft and Starbound. But, like, Terraria... I think there were... And I've discussed this... Well, I actually haven't discussed it on stream before. So, one of the things that my buddy Shride has pointed out to me is I am much more comfortable in games that are either... Any game that is either over the shoulders or a side-scrolling game, I am much more comfortable with. Uh, which is very true. Um, I think we're actually out over the lava lake that we were headed towards before, so I might actually go back up here and pick another direction. Um, specifically, I'm going to just go the exact opposite way. So I'm going to head past this portal instead of like... Yeah. Oh. Hi. I, I'm just gonna burrow. Because I don't feel very comfortable with the energy we've created in the studio here today, so. Alrighty. Shoot. Be gone. Uh, but yeah, uh, all right, come on, man. Get all the, the netherrack, I, or not netherrack, nether quartz I could possibly desire. Bop, bop. This is what, I, I should have paid more attention to the people who were like, I've watched Netherite, and again, like, I know, like, mostly tips and tricks, the qu the only thing I don't know is the Y level that is, like, most advisable, but also, like, I've kind of got a bad setup here, because obviously I'm, you know, on, I'm mainly on, like, a floating island kind of setup, so I've already kind of got a bad setup going anyway for, like, Netherite mining. But it's okay. Uh, the main issue that I'm concerned about is the hog lids, because the the pig lids aren't an issue, right? Because I got my like all my like I've got gold hat, I think, odd. But those hog lids will not take Kylie to me, no matter what I do. Bow, bow, bow. Um, I'm actually gonna go over this way see what I can find in this direction. Because that just seems more advisable to me. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, I finished Centaur World and that was really good. And like, 
there are so many songs in there that are going to completely escape the series as, like, relationship songs. Um, I don't know how to phrase it other than that. Um, but they're just completely going to, like, escape that series and no one's going to know where they originally came from. Um, it's kind of like, you know, how a lot of people don't realize... Oh, shoot, what was the song? There was a song that was very specifically written for either... It was written for one of the... It was either for Batman and Robin or the Batman film that preceded it. I, I don't remember if those are the... Yeah, those are the Schumacher films, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not as well-versed in my Marvel... Or my, my DC movies as I am in my Marvel. Um, but... Um, there was a specific song that escaped those very dramatic... Well, one that I can give as an example is that the song Radioactive by Imagine Dragons, and I feel like this is a fairly common fact, but the song Radioactive by Imagine Dragons was originally written for the Spider-Man musical um, before they scrapped it. And the Spider-Man musical was already, like, not a very good idea... Um, I kind of want to know who pitched it, because, like, it wasn't smart. For those of you who don't know, the Spider-Man musical, Spider-Man Turn Off the... Or, I think it's called, like, Turn Off the Night, or something like that, um, was plagued by many, many, many issues. And when I say issues, I mean some of them were, like, so bad that, frankly, the musical should have been shut down over those issues, period. Um, I don't know if it's still running, but for one, there were several instances of injury. Um, I, I need to look up some of them because some of them are really bad, but because so much of it was done with fly wires and stuff like that, you can imagine some of the injuries. Like, I, I don't have to, like, spell that out. But, um, beyond that, it also had a lot of technical problems, because the show had a lot of, like, dark sequences, it also had, like, I think there was, like, a lot of issues with flashing lights and stuff, but, um, it just, it did not go well, and also nobody was, mind you, most musicals that happened, nobody was really asking for, like, nobody asked for a Hamilton musical when, when Hamilton was first starting, it was just, that was what Lynn wanted to write, um, let's see. But, um... Oof, sorry, I got the burps. But, um... Even though no one asked for it, obviously, that was successful. Unfortunately, the Spider-Man musical was not the same. And, I mean, here's the thing, right? I don't think it's inherently a bad idea to do a Spider-Man musical. I actually think it's kind of smart. What I feel the problem was, was I feel like it was rushed. And also, like... I haven't seen the content, but I feel like the best way to do a Spider-Man musical is to be fully self-aware of the fact that if you're starting out on Broadway, you're in his home turf. And, like, have, like, jokes about, you know, the fact that he's from Queens and, like, well, depending on what version you're reading. But almost always, uh, dependent on the Spider-Man, but if we're talking box standard Peter Parker, by and large, um... Peter is always from Queens. Um, it's, mo it's more the ones that are like tertiary characters like Miles and stuff that may or may not be from Queens. Um, but he's not from like what a lot of people consider classic Spider-Man. Er, wait. I'm sorry, I just buffered. I have no earthly idea what I was saying there. Um... I, I, I talked about the fact that Peter was from Queen, but, like, have, like, you know, friendly borough rivalry and stuff like that. Like, that's where wh what I would do with the musical if I had charge of it. I would make it, like, fully self-aware of the fact that it's being portrayed in New York by the for the most part. Like, and if you're in, like, an area where you are not in New York, like, even better chance for jokes, right? Because, like, right... Peter is all about haha -ha funnies and quips. Like that that is the bread and butter of what Spider-Man is. Um is one-liners. But uh, matter of fact, it's to the point that in Spider-Man's universe, 
one of the ways that the villains can tell whether or not they've actually genuinely screwed up is if Spider-Man is still continuing to make jokes or not. Because if he stops making jokes, you know you messed up bad. Because, um, like, if Peter isn't making haha -ha funnies, y y you, you definitely... There was... I forget exactly how this incident went down, but I believe it was Wilson Fisk who was at the center of it. But something really dark happened, and Peter literally walked into an area, and I think it's fairly common knowledge that Peter withholds a lot of his, like, most powerful abilities so he doesn't hurt people, because obviously Peter is very, very strong. Um, he literally came in and just folded this guy like a chair as a... If you ever do something like this again, I will not hold back and you will see just how powerful I really am. And there was another instance where... I forget if it was Mysterio... Or Mysterio? I, I forget his name. The, the bubble-headed guy. Um, I know way more about Venom than I do. do even though, like, Spider-Man's my very favorite, I, I know way more about Venom. Uh, well, as far as, like, heroes, Spider- Venom is my favorite Marvel character, point blank, period. Um, more than half of my shirts have Venom on them. But, um, but, um, there was an instance where this was a very popular panel that went around to explain to people just how, like, the villains would see this situation, but it was somebody presenting a panel where it was, like, if I recall, the explanation for the how this happened was basically whatever the villain was that was up to it, uh, that was up to no good, basically Peter walks up to them and whatever they did was so bad that he walked up, said nothing, and just decked them. And they said the reason that the villain was freaking out because that after that moment the villain was like uh oh uh oh uh oh was the fact that Peter didn't say a word and if Peter isn't talking you know you messed up um uh, cause like realistically Peter even if he's doing like a very serious fight sequence Peter always finds times to make jokes or time to make jokes cause that's just how he copes with like stress I guess um uh, let's see Alrighty, we're at five. Let's go ahead and head around here, because I think this should be a fairly decent level to, to mine for Netherite. At least, makes sense to me. And we're also, like, right at Bedrock, so... Um... But... That's just how Peter works, right? Like, he just copes by, by making jokes and stuff like that. So the fact that he didn't say a word to this villain and just laid him out was the immediate indicator that, like, this villain was not gonna have a good time. Like, period. Um... Alright, let's see. Alrighty, very good. Alright. Oh, there, what? Yeah, I knew that was gonna go sometime soon. This is why I wasn't using my diamond one. Like, theoretically, I could've gone back up to the house and re- like, like, repaired it or whatever, but also, like, I want to save some of my levels. You feel me, chat? Like, I, I just, eh, it's not worth it. Alrighty, very good. Ba, 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 ba. What are we up to? Also, the other thing about Centaur World, I'm coming back to that, um, is that because there's so much music in it, a lot of the people that they got to come voice act, holy cow, chat. Would I tell you these people were, like, incredible like I'm not even exaggerating like some of these uh, singer voice actors were just stunning like I was blown away by some of them and some of them it was actually their first role like the person who voiced Glendale my favorite um, was actually the person who created the show that's Blackstone I think um, but the person who voiced Glendale like, it was her first ever time doing voice acting. Um, and she, considering how, like, difficult voice acting can be, she did so good, chat. Like, when I, when I tell you I'm very proud of the show she created and, like, her voice work, 
I really am. Like, I'm not even being, like, disingenuous. I just am. I wonder if I'm under a bastion. Um, could be. Maybe. Who knows? Alrighty, let's see. Um, I'm actually gonna go back this way. And, um, I'm gonna make a side tunnel. Y you'll see what I mean when I do it. I'm gonna ignore the fact that I just poured water all down my, my, my front. I mean, this is why, you know, I don't have a face cam, because then I would actually have to be worried about it. Alright, one, two, three, so I can walk. Alright, so one, two, and, hang on, I'm blind. One, two, three. My eyes are so bad. One, two, and three. Yes, here. That's what I mean. Alrighty, but, um, but yeah, like... It was just a very well done show, and hopefully this isn't another show that gets, like... So, for anyone who's, like, a big fan of, like, Netflix series in general, they probably know what I mean by this. Uh, Netflix has a really bad habit of canceling shows that everyone was ready to, like, get another season up. For example, uh, probably the one that infuriates me the most, because it had the most story still left to tell is um dark crystal dark crystal age of resistance especially because they already have the puppets made like so literally like you already have the most expensive part by and large out of the way especially the skexies which i think cost like a million dollars each to make the skexies are expensive um as they should be um but um they just canceled it out of complete nowhere even though there was massive demand for the show to continue like um and nobody knows why they cancelled it it wasn't because it had a bad response it was not only was it critically acclaimed it also won them an award like it won like best children's even though it's a stretch to call it children's cause it's, it's just as dark as the original and even the original shouldn't have gotten away with being called a children's program it should be called something along the lines of like a, a young adult program but regardless, um, but it won them an award. I think it won an Emmy. I could, I, I, I could be wrong about that, but it won them an award and they just were like, yeah, even though there's like a massive, like positive response to this, we're just going to cancel it. <laughs> um, but then like Big Mouth gets a bunch of extra seasons and it's like, okay, like I know that there are fans of Big Mouth out there, but like, here's the thing with Big Mouth, like... It does okay, but it's not, like, one of their, like, big name, like, draws a huge amount of viewership shows, right? Um, but, um, but they still canceled it anyway. My fear with Centaur World is it's going to get canceled, and the problem with Centaur World is, just like Dark Crystal, we are currently being left on a cliffhanger, and a pretty dramatic one at that. So, like... I, my fear is it's going to be Dark Crystal all over again, where it's like, okay, it does really well, it's going to get critical acclaim or whatever, but they're just going to cancel it out of nowhere. That's my big fear with Centaur World. Because I don't like seeing any of these shows like be treated like dirt, because a lot of these shows that are on Netflix specifically are there because they're passion projects. Like, they are because the team behind it were desperate to, like, you know, get this finalized and out there. Like, I know that the team behind Age of Resistance has been desperate to finish or to do more with the Dark Crystal world. Like, and I think that they've been trying to get more done with the Dark Crystal world for, like, at least 10 plus years. Hello, Zoos! How are you? We're talking about Netflix. Um, but, um, because of, excuse you, don't be rude. Don't, I said don't be, excuse you. <sighs> it is a good thing I'm a blaze born, because I can do this. I have steak in my hand, that's why I can't put anything down. Duh. Y'all, <sighs> I'm alright, I'm alright, Zeus. But, um, I'm just marveling over my ability to be dumb. But my again, my my big fear with Centaur World is it's gonna get 
the Age of Resistance treatment, and they're just gonna drop it, even though it's, like, massively successful, and say, well, we didn't think anyone wanted it, even though everyone's literally like, that's all we've been saying is that we wanted it. Um... But yeah, that that that's my major fear with what. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I I don't know. Like, and maybe it's like me being. I don't know if dramatic is the right term, but like extra. But it breaks my heart when shows that are clearly a passion project get put by the wayside. Um, for like stuff that nobody really asked for, per se. And not even did it... Again, the, the, I don't know exactly how to phrase it. It just... It it makes me sad, chat. I, I... And maybe it's because, like, I know that a lot of these people are like me, you know, who this is the first time they're finally getting to tell, like, a big story or whatever. Um, bruh... But again, I can handle the lava. That's not the issue. The issue is that it gets in my way and I can't see. All right, let, let's go this way, chat. Let's see what's over here. One, uh, two, and three. That way I can find my way back. Or not find my way back, but you feel me. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the flock. I really appreciate you being here, dear heart. Uh, I do hope for, uh, if Centaur World gets a second season, and again, I'm not gonna say any spoilers, but I do hope that we get to see more of, like, the even more insane parts of the world. Because we already saw some pretty wacky parts. Right now, I'm just mainly going netherite-minded. Um, and just talking about, like, stuff that I've watched recently and all that good stuff. But, um, I, even though we saw some pretty crazy parts of the world, like, I feel like we didn't see the most insane bits, if that makes sense. Um... And, like, I love how weird the world is, because, like, surrealism is something I really appreciate, so I do hope that we get to explore more of, like, the sky area and the underground area. Because we saw a little bit of the underground area, but not much. Um, but we did get to see a fair bit of it. Alright, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. And also, there the the show has this propensity, and this is not a bad thing, um, but the show has... Um, I do not have a Discord yet, um, but I probably will in the future. I will let you guys know when I go ahead and start that. But, um, I do want to get a little more established before I start one of those. Um, just because, like, I'm not super well-versed in running a Discord, so I'll have to tap my, like, my, my more, like, experienced buddies to, to help me with that. Because I want it to be a good experience for y'all. Uh, but yeah, the moment I do get a discar D Discord, I will let you guys know. But, um... I just... I love the surrealism, and, like, that was... Did, did that play something or not? Hello? There it goes. But, um... I just hope we get to see some of the more zany parts of the world. Alrighty, let's see. Um, no. For right now, I've got it covered. It's just a matter of, like... I tend to take things slow because, like, I want to make sure that things aren't going to fall out from under my feet. So, like, it, exactly the reason, like, why once I, like, manage to hit affiliate, like, the ability to go affiliate, I'm going to, like, wait for, like, at least a week to make sure that I can, like, solidly hold, like, the numbers I need, if that makes sense. It just comes from me being paranoid um, in general. Did I mute my phone speaking of paranoid? Yeah, I did. Don't need my phone to accidentally DMCA me. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Because the my ringtone is from Dark Crystal Age of, Resist bleh, Age of Resistance, and it's got me in trouble on TikTok before, so, like... I just want to be careful. Uh, hello. Speaking of careful... what Logan, that's not going to do anything for no one. There's where you need to put it, and you need to put it over... Yeah. Oh, I actually missed my mark here, I guess. Oops. Um, let's see. Go away. No one cares. Come on. Alrighty. But yeah, it's just a matter of me buckling down and getting to it. I've just... I don't know, chat. We'll see. 
and like I said, you guys will be the first ones to know when, like, anything happens, and, like, I'll, I'll definitely, like, because, like, a lot of times I use my TikTok to talk to you guys, like, that'll also be, like, a thing for sure. Alrighty, there we go, good, bop. I do need to get rid of some of this crap, so, like, next time I dig into a lava pit, I'll probably throw a bunch of stuff away. Bop, bop. Oh, um, yeah, uh, I have it up online, hang on, I could, I could pop out of my armor real fast. Um, oh, shoot, hang on, at E, bop, bop, he is part piglin, part blaze, so, yeah, yes, I have a TikTok, it's down on the bottom of my screen, it is, um, Mr. Logan, just like my Twitch. Alrighty, very good, very good. Okay, back to this. Ah! Hello. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. There we go. J just, like, staring straight at the screen for a second. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. Mainly the reason I want to go netherite mining is because, for one, I'm pretty sure I'm technically... I might be the only person on the server who doesn't have full netherite. Uh, because I'm lazy. Is the main reason. Um... What? Oh, sorry, hang on. Um, no, not F3. Uh, hang on, let me... E. There we go. Alrighty. And I do... There are... If you look up on sites like MC Skin Stealer, you can just look up my, like, my username, which is Mixture Glacia. Um, and you should be able to find it there. That's what I do for a lot of stuff. So as long as you have my username, you should be able to find this kid there. And plus, that way you can, like, zoom in on it and stuff. But he's just part piglin, part, uh, blaze. Ah, ah. Alrighty, there we go. Alright, one, two, three. Um. Can't find, uh, lava when I need it, but find it when I don't. Um, but also, I do want to, because I got a fairly good enchant on this pickaxe. Yo, no worries, mate. Um, I want to be able to actually, like, keep it and, like, have it be nice. The only thing it doesn't have on it is Menden. Um, but, but, for right now, two, three, I just mainly want to actually try to get netherite so that, you know... I could actually compete with, or not compete, but like, that I actually have like, full armor and all that good junk. Bop, 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 bop. Especially since it's on hard mode and I'm not very talented at the game even though I've been playing it for years. Uh, I just, I just like a little extra insurance, as it were. All right, let's see what we got back here. I should be, and again, like, I know probably the best way to netherite mine is still the bed method, but I also, like, I don't trust myself enough to do the bed method, um, cause, like, it's just mainly a matter of, I feel like, yeah, my favorite thing about Minecraft is easily builded, that's, that's actually how I got started in the game was, my buddy was like, hey, I know you, like, recreate in pixel art, you can do re pixel art recreation in it. Because I started playing Minecraft right around the time that Endermen were added to the game to give you, like, a perspective of how long I've been playing it. But by and large, I mostly play on creative, um, or peaceful. I can actually remember one of the earliest things I've ever built off of creative was I built, now mind you, it looks terrible now, but I built a very tidy replica of a bunch of different locations from Silent Hill. Um... But yeah, build it is definitely my favorite. I was gonna say, my inventory has to be getting close to full at this point. And I should be getting close to a lava patch. Or if not, I'll go dig over a couple of blocks to find wood. Um, but, but, but. Let's see. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, like, occasion. Okay, I could go ahead and throw away a bunch of the... The useless crap here. Or, again, it's not useless. It's just, I don't need it right now. Bop, bop. Bop. Because I never am going to need all this netherrack. 
Um, even if I decide to do another, like, Netherrack-based build on my main world, or not my main world, um, in the overworld, I probably could just come down and get more. Okay, cool, cool. Make sure my hand's not on cue. Good. Alrighty, very good. Bop, bop. Excuse you, don't be rude. Alrighty, very good. My favorite animal or flower in Minecraft. My favorite mob, period, is the Striders. Um, and I don't, per se, have a favorite flower. I do actually wish that, like... Okay, so since I've been playing Minecraft for, for a while, I do wish that they had not made the rose into a poppy and that they had just kept it as a rose and maybe made a poppy bush instead of a rose bush. Because visually, I find that the poppy's, like, a little odd. And, like, my favorite biome, even though I've, o I've only found one in the other SMP that I bought, once that gets kicked off, you'll see what I mean. Uh, my favorite biome is the Badlands biome, because it was also my favorite mob, it, or my favorite place in Creativeverse was one that looked like the Badlands. But it came before, and then my Minecraft did it, and it's like, bruh. <laughs> Same thing as... Technically, Minecraft has promised something that Creativeverse has had for a while, which is the ability to rotate blocks after you place them, but they haven't delivered on it, so... What what the heck's up, uh, Moyang? Come on. Um, because, like, they promised that, like, I think a couple of years ago, the ability to rotate blocks after you place them, rather than needed to, like, manually do it, like, while you're building. Because, like, a lot of people have desperately asked for that. Um, same thing as, like, a lot of people have asked for vertical half slabs, but then they gave us some nonsense claim of, we aren't gonna make vertical half slabs because and I quote, it will stifle creativity. And I'm like, no. It's going to increase creativity. Get off you lazy butt and make us vertical half slabs. Like, everybody wants it. Because, like, consider the amount of times that, like, you see, uh that you see during build projects. Uh, axolotl is a bit of a weird word. As I recall, it is ax me type a key smash to make sure. I believe it is spelt like this. Alrighty, there we go. I, I could be slightly wrong on it, but it's it's something along the lines of that. Because, um... The reason that axolotl is a little bit of a weird word is the same reason why a lot of things from uh, Central America and, like, the Mexico region are a little weird. Because, fun fact, axolotls are native to a single lake in Mexico. Um... Uh, which is why they are so critically endangered. At least, like, the ones in the wild. Because, like... Obviously, a lot of the ones that are, like, born and bred ca in captivity, not so much, but, like, the ones in the wild are a lot more endangered. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I know a lot of really weird random animal facts. Um, but, yeah, they are native to pretty much a single lake in Mexico. Um... Uh, and they actually used to be... Uh, I don't know if this is what they ca they were, like, super well-known for, but they were a lot of times used as a food source. Or not even a food source, per se, but more as, like, a snack. Because, obviously, they're they're small. Um, but that is why a lot of the ones you see in... Ca so, fun fact, the axolotls in Minecraft, the brown one with the speckles, that is based on an actual pattern that uh, axolotls come in, which is called the wild type, and that is what most, like, axolotls that were born in the wild tend to look like. Now, mind you, that doesn't mean that, like, just because it's got the wild type pattern in it doesn't mean it wasn't captive bred, uh, because pretty much all axolotls you're gonna see in the pet trade are captive bred, because it is massively illegal to take um, axolotls from the wild because they're so critically endangered. Um, and I actually did chuckle Oh, yeah, they're giant in Minecraft, but, like, they can get, like, a little bit bigger than the size of your hand in real life. Uh, but, uh, they also were not kidding about them eating anything and everything. Like, if, if, if it can get its mouth on it, an axolotl will eat something. 
Um, which is why if you have little baby axolotls, you should not house them with adult axolotls if the enclosure is anything other than like a natural lake. Um, because uh, they will happily eat that baby. But, um... Other things. So, oh, so I was watching... If anyone's on TikTok a lot, and you know that that guy who does all the cursed animal facts, I forget his username, but, um, uh, he talked about recently a type of parrot that is critically, critically a danger called a cockapo, um, and they're from New Zealand, New Guinea, somewhere in that range. I don't quite remember where, but, um, basically... He was like, their 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 numbers are super low in the wild. They're at 200. But here's the thing: if you know anything at all about the preservation efforts they've been doing with kakapo as a species, the fact that they're up to 200 now is insane. Because within my lifetime, I believe there was a point where there were five individuals in the wild. Um, so the fact that they're up to 200 now is insane. Um. And, like, he said it like it was a bad thing, which it is a bad thing that are, that they still only have 200, but the fact that they have 200 now is crazy to me, because I never thought in my lifetime I would ever see them get above double digits. Because, like, that is how, how critically endangered they were, because here's the reason that they're critically endangered. All of the birds that were on that island were evolved on an island where they had no natural land-based predators, by and large, other than other birds, like, uh... I believe it's named a, a, Oh, shoot. I think it might be named Akia. Uh, but there is a particular type of uh, parrot there that has, like, a, a beak that looks like it could literally, like, open a can. Which, actually, I've seen some researchers there actually use them to open bottles because it's enrichment for the birds, and they also, like, really, like, enjoy messing with stuff. So they'll just hold the bottle out and let them pry off the bottle cap. Um, it's really funny, but they're particularly good at their job of, like, uh, preying on other ground-based birds, but, uh, and because these birds developed without natural predators, when people moved in, basically, the people were like, oh, I don't, you know, it's fine, they can, you know, do whatever, and they brought cats and stoats. Um, and the majority of the loss of life on, or loss of not life, but species on that island, because I think they lost at least one species to this, were attributed to a singular cat. Not just one cat in general, but literally they could tell you what cat it was. Um, which why, by the way, don't let your cats outside, please. Like, I, I, it's not only, like, dangerous for the cats, but it's dangerous for the environment, especially if you live in, like, a really fragile, uh, ecosystem. Um, but because of that, they've been desperate to try and save the, the kakapo, uh, because it's an enormous parrot, for one. I forget if it's, like, the heaviest parrot in the world. I don't know. I don't think it's the largest by, like, physical size. <clears throat> by physical size, but by density, I believe it might be the largest parrot species in the world. Um, don't quote me on that. But, um, because of how that, how devastating that cat was on the native population, the fact that we even have any kakapo around at all now is amazing. Um, and it's also, if you've ever seen the, um, the clip of the cameraman getting, um, I don't know how much I could reference it, but if you look up Kakapo, it's the most popular clip relating to them. Hang on, let me spell it for you, by the way. Kaskapo. I believe that's how it's pronounced, or spelt. It might be, uh, a C as the second syllable, but, like, I'm pretty sure. But it should redirect you. Um... But yeah, so the fact that, like, they have 200 of them at all right now is insane to me. Like, the conservation team working with them has done such an incredible job, and I'm so proud of them. Um, because I wasn't sure if we were going to see that species die out before in my lifetime, or if we were ever going to see it get out of the double digits as far as the amount of uh, individuals in the wild. 
but the fact that we're at 200 is incredible to me. Like, I I truly didn't think I'd see the day. Um, but then again, I tend to be nihilistic about a lot of stuff, so eh, it's fine. Um, but yeah, like, they've had a really good... They're really working on having a good comeback. Because the other thing with Kakapo is they tend to have difficulties. It's kind of like, okay, so if I could throw some shade at another very, like, popular endangered species that, like, <sighs> frankly shouldn't exist, and the only reason that it didn't die out is because humans thought it was cute. Uh, fun fact is a panda. Pandas literally... There has been a multitude of studies that without human intervention, humans would have, or not humans, uh, pandas would have gone extinct in the wild by now because of how bad they are at not only processing their food of choice, that being bamboo, but the fact that they also um, really struggle to, to reproduce in general, uh, like, they're just not good at it. Uh, but they're cute, so that gets, they, they get away with it. Uh, there's a term in the, uh, in the community that fo follows things like that, which is charismatic me megafauna, which basically means big, cute, fluffy thing. Um, and because it's cute, people don't want to see, like, bad things happen to it, even though it's like, y'all, y'all, there are other species that are much more critical to our our planet that pad does that desperately need our help but they're not as cute so like stuff isn't going well i mean look how long it took for the the save the bees mo movement to get like actually properly started um uh, like people really had to like say look bees are cute right for people to actually get into the save the bees movement uh and it took a while because i remember um a bunch of different, like, uh, wildlife organizations have been trying for a really long time to get people to understand how critical it is to save, uh, native bee populations. Because, again, it's not bumblebees. It's not, like, imported honeybees. It is native bee populations that need saving. Um, which is something that gets lost in translation a lot. Oops. Um, I really, really would like to find some netherite, please. Like, end my suffering. Hang on, let me throw some netherrack in here. But, uh... But pandas take up a lot of, like, conservation efforts when, like... There are other species that really, really deserve to be conserved like the panda has, but because they're not cute, people don't care as much. And it's extremely disheartening to me that something has to be cute for us to care or like we have to be convinced by someone that hey we should probably allow this species to you know continue existed um, I feel like everybody's taken all of the the netherite like maybe it's just me projected but like it genuinely feels like the all of the the netherite has just been mined out and call me dramatic or whatever, but, like, maybe it's just because I'm annoyed that I haven't found a piece of netherite. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And, like, there are other species that, because they don't do well in captivity, it's even harder to preserve them. Like, um, I know that black-footed ferrets have been an issue for a while um, with, like, uh, their, like, distaste for reproducing in captivity. Um, uh, and a lot of bird species do that, too. Like, I know, if I recall, the kakapo was one of those that was, like, a massive struggle to have, to get them to reproduce in captivity. I don't even think they ever managed to get a successful clutch out of it. But, uh, but then you also have success stories, like, you know, the bald eagle and stuff. Um, which, fun fact, um, for those of you who are old like me, you may remember that there was a time back when, I believe it was, it was either Bush or Clinton was president at the time, um, and they had an instance where it was their first successful, or their, their first release of a successfully, alrighty, I 
need to go the other way at this point. Uh, but, uh, oops. What have I done? Uh-oh, chat. Uh-oh, chat. What have I done? Where am I? There I am. But it was their first attempt at a successful, like, release of a bald eagle that was born in captivity. Well, what they don't tell you about that release, here's the actual tea about it, is that uh, when they, the, the, the successful one that everyone knows was not the first attempt to re-release a bald eagle. No, no. It was the second, I believe. And I'll tell you why it didn't go well, because I was there when it happened. Um, where they originally tried to release them was near where I grew up in Maryland. And, uh, here's, here's a little fun fact for you. That area has a fairly, uh, thriving osprey popula population? Population. Uh, population. And, uh, ospreys are very, very territorial. So the first time they attempted to release this rehab bald eagle, um, it was immediately swarmed by osprey. And they had to go save it and go release it somewhere else. So yeah, there's that. Um, which frankly, the the researchers who were doing the project should have like looked into the the native population of osprey because like they're very well documented there. They they are not unknown to be there. Um, so yeah, that that that's fun little piece of uh, uh endangered species. Uh, fun facts for you. And, like, it's always one that never gets talked about. Excuse you, don't be rude. It's one that never gets talked about, I mean, for... Uh, excuse you! For obvious reasons, because, like, obviously... People aren't gonna want to talk about, Oh, yeah, our, like... Scientists didn't use their braids. It accidentally caused a, uh... A crisis amongst these species. Okay, this area is clearly a little more cursed than back there. Uh, what am I gonna do, man? I mean, I could go and, like, find someone else to bribe to give me, like, another... But I also don't have, like, a lot of stuff. Um, here's what we're gonna do, chat. We're gonna go back up, and I'm actually gonna take a break and go mine diamonds. Because I've actually been fairly successful with that. Um, because also I don't think anyone's on the server, um, other than me, so we're not going to do that. Um, but, 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 alrighty, up we get chat, and then we'll probably come back to the nether at least once more during this stream, depending on everything. Alrighty, very good. Let's see what we're doing here. And we're just going to, fingers crossed that we don't have any hoglins trying to get fresh with us. Because I do not want to lose this pickaxe. Because um, that, uh... That diamond pickaxe I have, the the Bri um, Briar's Fortune or whatever I called it. Uh, I very much like that pickaxe. I would like to keep it. Because uh, it's got Fortune 3 on it. And so I use it for, like, everything, honestly. Which is why I'm trying to get Netherite for it to, to begin with, you know? All right, chat, let's... Fingers crossed that nothing's gonna get fresh. Okay. All right, we're good. I think we're all right. Okay, chat, let's head back. And let's... Never had it with old bases in it, honestly. Okay, we're gonna try to head back this way. And fingers crossed that nothing bad happens. Alright, let's see, chat. Why is the door hanging open? Okay, good. Good, good. But yeah, I'm used to old base season it on anything, honestly, other than noodles, but I'll try anything once, so. Alrighty, let's go, chat. Let's go, dear hearts. Alrighty. It's a very strangely placed tree. Bop. Uh, I said bop, come on, man. I say bop, it means I hop. Alrighty. Hello, bees. 
wonder if that creeper is still hanging out over here. Because there was a creeper hanging out somewhere in the swamp between the village and the Ashen Grove. Um, that I don't know where it went. So. Because I don't want to, like, have it, like, blow anything up. That's not necessarily vital. Because, like, most of the swamp between the Ashen Grove and the, uh... Uh, the village over here, which I don't think has a name. Uh, oh, there's that creeper. It's over there, but I can avoid it pretty easy. But, uh... Oh, shoot. Come on. Yeah, one of the... One of my buddies on the server hooked me up with some Frostwalker boots, and, like, it's great because I don't have to, like, nervously carry a boat on me at all times. Alright, let's see. What are we working with? All right. Okay. Oh, I need to put away the, the gold. That's what I'm working with. I can hear you, Strider. Uh, Greta and uh, Vernon. That's their names, by the way. Okay. All right, come here, you. All right, very good. Bop, 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 bop. There we are. Much better, chat. Up, and let's go put this away. Um. Okay, you can go there. You can go there. All right, I'm gonna take this back because, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do some surface mining at this point. Um, I really just need to get rid of the netherrack rather than store it. But eh, that's precious, so I'll put you here. Alrighty, let's take off that helmet, replace it with this. Thank you kindly. Put you away. And let's go ahead and go diamond mining because that ought to be more successful in the long run. Alright, let's go. And actually, hang on, let me reset my spawn point up here. Because um, it's not that, the village isn't that far, but eh, I like to be thorough. There we go. Very good. Down we get. And that way we can actually, like, see the um, the Briar's pickaxe in full, like, swing, for lack of a better term. Alrighty. Down this way. Bop, bop, bop. Very good. Very pog. And the only reason I even know about this area existed, where I've gotten a lot of my diamonds from, is solely because I came down here to mine Deep Slate. Um... Uh, and this is also how I found out. I don't know how true this is, but uh, there's a rumor that the height for mining um, diamond has changed a little bit, and it's actually better for you to do it on Y level 5 now. Again, that may be just a pure rumor, but it's just what I've heard. All right, be God. Oh, I've clearly been here before. Darn it. Um, hang on. For one, we need to actually, like, more properly mark out where this is, because I keep losing it every time I go down here. Ba, ba, ba. And then, ba, ba, ba. Excuse you, that's rude. Alright, cool. Uh, what I probably also need to do is make more, um... I do need to make more sticks and more... Um, what do you call them? Torches. Because I'm going to be very blind in a second if I don't have those. Alrighty, good, good. Alright, so, let's do this. Bop, bop, bop. Let's go, chat. Because unlike the nether, I actually am going to need to put torches down here. Because the nether, the one nice thing about the nether is that you can see fairly decently even if you don't put torches down. Honestly, to me, the only reason to put torches down in the, the nether at all is so you don't lose your way. Um, but it is what it is. Oh, well, hi. <laughs> Got jump scared by that a little bit. It's fine. Alrighty. And also, the other thing that I'm definitely going to be after is, um, Lapis, for obvious reasons. 
Because I don't have nearly as much Lapis here as I have on my 1.17 world. So I would very much like some. And, like, I don't care about things like redstone or whatever. I hate gravel so much. Gravel is my nemesis. Evil, evil block. Horrid. Rancid vibes. Hatred. Like, whenever people talk about, like, worst blocks, I don't find them ever mention gravel, and I'm like, bruh, bruh. The only reason it's there is for flint, and it's not even that useful in building projects. Because, like, you see a lot of people who are like, Acacia's the worst block, and I'm like, not only is it not the worst block, but I'll fight you for it. Um, but, like, I... Because usually, you know, builder brain go brr. So, like, usually I'm pretty decent at figuring out, like, what I would do with certain blocks. Gravel is one of the... Sorry, chat. One of the few blocks that I can't think of anything to do with it. The, yeah, it's satisfied, and that's honestly the only thing that I think is, like... The reason why people still, like, don't call it whatever they're, like, worst blocks. But yeah, like, it just, it drives me insane. Because, for obvious reasons. And as long as we don't get lost out here, we'll be fine, chat. Because anyone who's a long-time viewer knows how badly I get lost. Alrighty, let's see. And, like, a lot of times you also see people talk about, like, diorite or whatever, whichever one this is. And I'm like, there are still uses for that, but y'all cannot convince me that there is a use for gravel. I mean, there's obviously a use for gravel. It's there for flint. But I wish that they would do something with it, like, maybe give you, like, access to, like, I don't know, something like coarse gravel that's a little wider and looks good on, like, pathing. Uh, th there, there's potential here, chat. Such potential, such promise, but I feel like it's being squandered. Alrighty, let's... Cool. Again, I just don't want to waste my nice pickaxe. Especially before we get netherite on it. Cool. There we go. I don't really... You know what? Just in case. Yep, see? See? Sometimes, sometimes, I'm smart. And I have enough blocks to build my way out of here. Was there really only a singular piece of that? Okay, there's one there. If I could reach it. Okay. I'm not gonna try to, like, go much beyond that, because, like, eh. Okay. Oop. Excuse you. Thank you. Bop, bop, bop. Good. Good. Also, can we talk about, like, that Cobbled Deep Slate makes the best sound? Deep Slate in general makes incredible sounds. Um... Like, I know a lot of people talk about the, the amethyst, and I'm like, yes, the amethyst sounds nice, but bruh, cobbled deep slate and the deep slate family in general just, like, makes the best of the sounds. Okay, cool. I don't really know how much of this coal I'm gonna grab, because I don't really need a ton of it. I mean, I don't need it pretty much at all, but it gives me experience, and it's in my way. glow in potions? Can you? See, I've really never tried much with potions. Um, but I might have to look into that. And uh, honestly, like, I should look into it anyway, because part of Mordecai's story involves the fact that he did a lot of potion brewing. Well, we lost the game, apparently. Alright, very good. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see, chat. Let's see. Hills of Minecraft says dig your dirt, honestly. I do have, like, a place where glow squid have been spotted. I just, I my heart always breaks when I have to, to take care of them because, like, I adore glow squid with all my heart. And I'm just like, I don't want to hurt him. Alrighty, there we go. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. All right, let's see what we see, chat. There is so much dirt here. Too much dirt. Too much dirt, chat. Too much. 
Let's see. Um, anything over here? Nope. Uh, I don't know if I want to entirely dig out this wall because it looks like there's a lot of it. I'll probably dig out the stuff on the ceiling, though. Okay, good. Oh, okay. That wall didn't go that much further back. I'll take care of that in a second. Alrighty. Well, that's fine. Well, hang on. There's still a little bit more. Nothing and nothing. Okay, cool. Where was I? Here. Let me up. Let me up. Thank you. Oh gosh, cave sound jump scared the absolute crap out of me. To the point that I used the incorrect pickaxe there first. Well, not incorrect, but... Let's see. Got more dirt. Which is fine, I guess. I also need to be careful to listen for uh, water. Because I'm a blaze board and water does not agree with me. And unless my frost walker kicks in, who knows what'll happen. Alrighty. Now, mind you, my Frostwalker might kick in and just save me, but still. Still, it's not worth the risk. And this is, like, the part of Minecraft that's always, like, no fun, is the, the tedious uh, material delivery. Delivery? What, what word am I even looking for there, Chad? I don't even know what I'm saying. Acquire it? Gather it? Yeah. I'm not a dwarf, but I am digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. Alrighty. At least we found some lapis, though. Because I de definitely need that. Alright, let's see, chat. Ah! Let's see what's in here. Excuse you. Don't be rude. <laughs> Put that in the wrong place, but it's alright, chat. I think I'm gonna leave most of this dirt alone, actually, now, because, like, eh. Well, maybe I'll dig this little bit over here. I won't be digging above me, though, because I can tell that there's lava up there, and even though it doesn't hurt me, it is an annoyance. Um, so we're going to be ignoring that. Uh, where did I come from? Where did I go? Where? There, I, There's where I came from. Good. Alrighty, let's go. Uh, I do have uh, glass upstairs. I do know the glass trick for finding it through lava. Uh, I just, because I forget to bring my glass with me so much, and because it's actually... It's fairly precious, because I actually had to go kind of far afield to get that, um, in order to not disrupt the local, like, landscape visual. Um, so, we'll see if I use it or not. I'd have to also get something Silk Touch or, like, Tinted Glass or something. Because Tinted Glass does not require Silk Touch, which is so nice. Hello, could you please not? Can you go away? I think I did that right. Uh, maybe? Hello? There we go. That's what we want to chat. Maybe behind the redstone. I can check that in a bit. I can also hear water. That's my other concern right now, is I can hear water. Because lava might not screw me up, but water definitely will. Okay. Excuse you. Don't be rude. Um, I just feel like it's not worth it to get that, uh iron right now. I don't know. Oh, well, bruh. Again, it's not even that big of a deal. It's just an annoyance. So maybe it's just telling me I should go the other way. All right, let's go check behind the redstone before we go. Bop, 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 and bop. Anything? Nope. Okay, worth a shot. Oh, wait, there's one more. Okay, nothing there. All right. Let's go this way, chat. There is so much coal here that I don't even know if I'm going to want to dig it all, but... At least it gives me experience. And experience is good. 
because I need that to enchant. Ba da ba, bow da bow. All right. And because we have this nice Fortune 3 pickaxe, we are getting a fair chunk of material now, which is good, especially like uh, coal and all that good junk. Ba ba ba. Uh, okay, good. Alrighty, let's actually. J well, mmm. Because my fear is I'm going to get lost, but I kind of want to dig this way. Um, because I always get lost, chat. Like, it's a talent, I promise. I should be alright, though. As long as I'm not, like, dumb and, like, go through, like, some weird tunnel or something. As long as I just stick to this, I'll be alright. Excuse you. Out of the way, thank you. Bow, 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 bow. Alrighty, very good. Cool, cool. Fine, Pog. Nice. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. What do we got? What do we got? Just a lot of coal, that's all we got. And redstone. But eh. Such is the way. Such is the way of things in Minecraft. Alrighty, come on. Excuse you. Don't be rude. Oh my gosh, how much coal is there here? Gods above and below. Oop. Hang on. There we go. Get in there. Okay, cool. Very good. Away we go, chat. I think I may have used up all the luck from this mine in my adventures before. Because, like, I, I when I was just purely mine and deep slate down here, I found so many diamonds. Um, like, it's kind of stupid how many I found. Speaking of stupid, it's stupid how much uh, redstone and uh, coal I found, too. Very good. Not that I'm complaining. Obviously, they're useful. I, well, I'm going to give the... Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, you definitely want to go take care of that, mate. Uh... But, uh, sorry, I gotta stretch. I might just shove the redstone at somebody else on the server who does redstone, because I know, like, zilch about redstone, and I don't really care to know. Because uh, I'm perfectly content just doing, like, standard stuff. I'll just be like, does anyone who do, do who redstone's their thing, do you want redstone? Because I got it. I got it for days. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, more redstone. Speaking of redstone. Um, I should dig behind it just in case. You never know. Alright, let's see, chat. Let's see what we got over here. Bop, bop, bop. More redstone above us. Thank you. Okay, cool. Uh, because I have that fortune pickaxe, thankfully, like, everything's gonna be a lot easier in terms of gathering. Uh, I mean, it's obviously not gonna, like, negate the, the fact that I still have to gather, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier on myself. Alright, bop, bop, bop. Let's do this, do 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 Dig your dirt like you eat your breakfast, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that chat. <laughs> I, I, y y your guess is as good as mine, mate. Oh, scared, frightened. If the server wasn't on hard, I might attempt that. But it, it, it's on hard. I'm a coward. I have a nice pickaxe. I don't, I don't want to jinx it. You know. We're going back this way, chat. Uh. Okay, there's the up. Uh, what do we got? We definitely need to offload our inventory anyway, so, like, it's fine. Alright, we'll see. Chat didn't find any, but it did break up the tedium of uh, strip mining in the nether. So, 
I'll see whether or not, depending on my mood, I may go down here one more time or back up or back over to the nether. We'll see how I'm feeling, chat. Not sure. I don't know what time it is. It's getting towards night, maybe, or is it just turning today? I think it's just turning today. All right. Let's go shove all this into the places where it belongs. Probably gonna have to make more um, everything, frankly. Here, enjoy your other coal. You don't need anything. Um, you could use some. You don't need any. Great. Cool, I guess. Um, shove that in there. Sh shove everything in there that'll go. Okay. Fine. Good. I need to say hi to Vernon and Greta. Hello, my babies! How are you, children? I love you. Give you kisses. Mwah. And mwah. Alrighty, very good. Okay, let's see, chat. Let's shove all this away in here. I'm actually going to grab the redstone dust here in a sec and uh, redistribute it. Or by redistribute it, I mean uh, turn it into to blocks. Alright, let's go, chat. Okay, cool. I believe it's just this. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, good. Pog. Alrighty. And okay, cool. Now it's all nice and collapsed down. Much better. Much more tidy. Alrighty, chat. That looks nice. I would say that looks fly. I sound like an old man. I need to shut up. Um, don't got any die right in there. Cool, cool, cool. I need more chests. Um, okay. Or I just need to dump off um, any of the extraneous material. But I don't want to, because I'm a hoarder. Cool. Very good. You can always use more iron. Alright. Let's see what we're working with, chat. Uh, sun's up there. Let me reset my spawn. Let's... Let's change out our stuff and go back to to the nether, I, maybe, no, no, you know what, no, 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 I, I still don't want to go back to the nether quite yet, the nether is annoying, let's go back down here, and I just need to be careful about not digging into the mine shaft, because there is an actual, not, not just, like, the mine shaft I made, there, that A on the screen, that is from a mine shaft, all right, Stalin, Stallion, see you in a minute, um, but, um, I just can't handle the mine shafts right now. And even though, theoretically, if I was being braver, I probably could find better stuff. I'm not brave. I am a coward. And that'll probably always be how it is. Anyway. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, hang on. Get over here. All right. Actually, I should use cobble because I've got to not recognize that the dirt is non-naturally spawning. Um, shoot. Let's let's just do this, chat. Bop, bop, bop. Is that two? Yep. Okay. Two because that way I can um, if I see like, I can see both sides of the wall more efficiently. Um, is basically the reason why two. Um. Hang on. Um, because if you can see both sides of the wall you're digging in, 
uh, that allows you to basically say, okay, there's definitely nothing in between this. So I know it's all right, basically, is the, the, the mindset behind why people... You know what? It's fine. That piece of coal can live down there. Um, you can tag me on TikTok or um, my Tumblr is Mixter Glacia. I also have a Twitter. Um, you can tag me on any of those and I'll um, definitely see it. But probably either Twitter or t Tumblr would be the best options because that way, like, I can see the full piece. Um, because, like, obviously, TikTok is, like, broken. But, yeah, I really appreciate it, man. I, I love fan art. All right, let's see what we got, chat. Let's see what we're cooking with here. Actually, knew somebody who used to have this as their uh, ringtone. Okay, <laughs> good, good, good. Matter of fact, uh, speaking of Undertale ringtones, mine used to be Metal Crusher. All right, let's see what we got in here, chat. Anything of use to me? Probably not, but eh. Give me that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I also need to see if I could... There's something that I kind of want to build, but I would want to build it off stream so that it's like a surprise. But it would take a lot of effort for something that frankly would not impact anything. I'd also have to check with the uh, the other members of the SMP if they're okay with me building it. Um, but yeah, that would be fine. Alrighty, very good. <gasps> there we go, chat! Clap, 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 yes! Uh, on where specifically? On Tumblr or TikTok? Or Twitter, which one? Because, like, on any of them, all you have to do is post on your own account um, and, like, at my account name. Where's the other diamonds? Did I, did I just get one? Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, that's a ripoff. Um, but, um, on any of them, like, usually you just at someone in their username. Okay, very good. At least that's generally the, the the way things go on those kinds of sites. Anything down there? Probably not. Yeah, didn't think so. Okay, cool. Not much, but at least we got some diamond. Ah, get up there. Very good, very good. Alright, let's do this. Get into it, chat. Alrighty, let's see. So at least we can say that we got diamonds today. At least there's that. Which is fine. Even though I was after netherite, diamonds will do just fine too. Because at least diamonds I can use to repair my pick before I turn it into a netherite pick. I also need to know if anyone has a mend-in villager. I also don't exactly know how villagers work, because like I said... I played for a long time, but because I usually play on creative, I have no idea how most of the mechanics of the of the game like work half the time. Oh, well, we've clearly been here before, but we're gonna get, continue going this way. All right, let's see, chat. Ba 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 da. Very good, very pog. All right, good, good. Ooh, hello. Would you like to lead me to the diamonds? Good sir, Redstone. Honorable, honorable Redstone, please lead me to the diamonds. Sometimes if you compliment something enough, it'll do something nice for you. But it is what it is. Alright, let's see, chat. Alright, very good, very, very good. Alright. Ew, spooky scary. There we are. Less spooky scary. Good, good, good. Alright, let's see. Bad up. Bup, bad up. What do we got here in this room? Hmm. We got some dirt to dig, I guess. Alright, very good. Bup, bup, bup. Bow, bow, bow. 
right. Let's see. Anything hide about in this dirt? Yes, please. Thank you. I should try to repair this shovel when I head back up topside. Matter of fact, I will try to remember to do that because, yeah. It's got some decent enchants on it. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Now, what I don't know is if I could, like, put it in a disenchantment station and it'll, like, take all of the enchants off it or just one. So I might test that at some point. Because we still have about, like, 30 minutes before I typically end stream, so... There's that. Where are my diamonds? Hello? Good Sir Diamond, where are you? Um... Also, as long as nobody's, like, managed to somehow dig out of the world, we'll be alright, chat. Alrighty, very good. But yeah, I'll check that out after stream. Alrighty, very good. Give me all the dirt, even though I don't need it. Because superstition states you need to dig it. Even if sometimes there's too much. Alrighty, let's see, chat. Uh, up, up. Okay. Alright. Well, let's also, like, check out this redstone. Just, just, just in case. Again. The, the superstition paranoia. Alright, chat. Back up here. And we're just gonna, like, close off this area. That way we don't have to worry about it. Alrighty, very good. Ah, ba 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 ba. Good, good. Okay, definitely gotta put up a torch here. Cause it's getting very dark. Alright, cool. Well, we found more iron, which again, always useful. Because I definitely need iron all the time. Alright, there's nothing in there. Put a torch up there just so stuff doesn't spawn. And jump scare me. Because I'm very easy to jump scare. Which is why, like, if I ever do FNAF, it'll be, like, a sub-goal. Because, like... Again, I'm very, very easy to jump scare. So it'll be funny, but I also, like, don't want to suffer unnecessarily. Ba -da -ba. Okay, should still dig this. Even though it's annoying. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da -da. All right, let's see, chat, what we got here. As long as we don't have water, we'll be all right. Thumb, 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 thumb. Oop, there it went. Um, I still have like a little bit of, I mean, I still have space. So like, let's continue checking it out. Not as bad as the time that I, uh, I 110% uh, made a full inventory of swords when I very first was playing with someone else. So it was back when literally we didn't even have a server. We had to play on a LAN connection. Um, I think we may have even been playing split screen. I could have been wrong. But like it was, it was a little bit uh, ratchet um, as it were. All right, let's see, chat. What we got in here? Up, 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 we got lava. Well, I don't need lava today. Thank you, please. All righty. Um, I feel like that's a sign to head back, but um, let's go. We'll see, chat. We'll see. I think I just was continuing straight the whole time. I don't think I took a turn at any point. Could be wrong, who knows? We'll see. Oh, that looks like the entrance-ish. 
Uh, it's either up here, nope, or over here. There it is. All right, chat. Hup. Yeah, I imagine because of my mining method that if I was in an elytron, it would be miserable. Because again, this is Origins. Da -da 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 -da. All right, up we get chat. Hop, 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 hop and bop and hop and bop and hop, hop, hop. There we are. Good, good, good. It's night time. I'm scared. It's raining. Why? Okay, we're gonna go as fast as we can, chat. There's also a slime. Go, close. Alrighty. Alright, chat. Let's get our sleep on. There we are. Good, good, good. Very good, very pop. Alright, let's... Repair the shovel for sure. Oop, wrong place. Wrong, wrong stop. Alrighty. Okay, cool. I wish it had other stuff on it, though. I'm wondering if it's worth it to enchant it, but eh. There we are, good. Uh, okay. Nothing else that I really need to enchant or disenchant. Actually, hang on, let me, let me real fast look at... Hang on, where are my books? I want to see if my theory about this is correct. Bop, bop. Get up there. Alrighty, very good. That is a furnace slogan. Bow, banana, banana. Okay, this has two. Okay, yes, yeah, so the book would theoretically be able to take the enchantment off, which is very good. Because that way I could upgrade. Alrighty, hang on. We, we have a plan, chat. So, we are gonna make diamond of everything. Well, eh. I don't really have good enough stuff to make it worth it. Like, the fortune, yes. You know what? No. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I was gonna make diamond versions of all my tools. Um, and, yeah, but I... Mm, mm, eh. I don't have anything right now that's particularly worth it. Um, come here, you. Alrighty, good, good. Good, good, chat. We should probably make a bunch of this extraneous coal into blocks. Um, that way it's out of the way. Bop and bop. Okay. So we're gonna take all this spare coal and make it into blocks. I forget exactly how much coal you need for a block. More than that! Okay. Fun. Doot, doot. I said doot, doot, doot. Thank you. Alrighty, good. Yeah, it's always either nine or four. I just never know which one it's gonna be. Okay, cool. Take that. Bop. Beep bop. Good. Good chat. Good. Um, let's go throw a bunch of this into the lava over here. So one nice thing about having pet striders is that I just can have an immediate ready source of, uh, item destruction at my disposal. Bop. Uh, no, I'll keep that. And bop. Cool, cool. Alrighty, good. Um, I think I'm gonna do one little bit of nether mining. Maybe. We'll see. Eh, I don't know, chat. Seems, seems risky. Um, well, I could actually go to the nether and try to actually find out what that, uh, <clears throat> sorry, stretching, what that, uh, that other location was, so let's go ahead and do that. That, that seems like fun. Switch out our armor real fast. Uh, it was the hat that I switched. You can hang out in here, come here, but good. All right, chat, let's head back. Ba -da -ba 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 
the Lunar Towers theme will always be jammed into my noggin because of the fact that I've had to actually... That I've done the Lunar event so much that I literally cannot unhear the Lunar event music. Because I was basically trying to get one of the rarer items out of the, the towers. Um, I think it was the car key or something like that. Um, but regardless of what it was... Um, I now literally hear the lunar theme in my sleep sometimes. I mean, it was fun, but it's still one of those things where it's like, suffering, you know? Why is there a fire over here? Hold on. Oh, it's a zombie. <laughs> well, alrighty, there we are. No, sir, you don't need to come after me. Alright, let's go this way, chat. Pow, pow, pow. Let's see what we working with. But yeah, I just want to I want to figure out what this other area is so I can mark it on my map. Cuz obviously I use the waypoint system fairly heavily. All right, fingers crossed for no hoglins. Uh nervous chat, nervous. All righty, let's see. Okay, I think we're all right, chat. Bow now. Now. Alrighty, let's see. What we working with? We're working with hand cramps, I guess. Ouch. Alrighty, chat. My guess is this is something that Nikos is working on. And it's his as of yet unnamed area. At least to my knowledge. Hi. Alright, chat, let's see what we got. Alright. Let's let's go over this way, see if we could figure it out. There's a cat in that boat. We're kinda close to Honey Haven. Um I just don't know whose this is. Okay. Let's see if we can suss out from clues. So it might not be Nikos' place, because Nikos has, if I recall, has the fox origin. Um, and I would th think that he would have... Let me go ahead and... You can make golden chains? Okay. I've got a waypoint. IDK. Oh, excuse you. I, I would like to read a bit. Uh, I... Why can't I type? Eb. Waypoints. I... I... Hang on, what? Hang on, chat. I'm confused. Okay, I would like to add a new one. Oh, you know what? I bet I add it here. I... D... I... D... K... But... It's neat. All right, confirm. Dud. Uh, did I overwrite Ashen Grove? Uh, hang on. Let me see if I can see. There's all. I did overwrite. Oh no! It's I forgot that I labeled it home. Okay, that's fine. Where's the sun chat? Alrighty, let's see. I just need to figure out whose this is. Because, like, it's fine. I'm just, I don't know. <gasps> Ooh, there's a dark forest here, though. That's good. Oh, that is so loud. Again, my thought immediately is, Nico who else is on this? Maybe it's Fizzy's. What origin is Fizzy? I think I Fizzy's a piglet origin, so it might be Fizzy's. Uh, place that that's my guess is this is Fizzy's place you know what I might in lore go sit down and hang on chat let me let me let me this is what we're gonna do chat we're gonna go write a lore book uh, well uh, I don't know if I can get home in time for that do they have a bed in here they do so I'm gonna wait till it's nighttime. I'm gonna sleep. 
I'm gonna go back to my place, grab a book, and then we're going to come up with a little lore book for introducing Mordecai, which is my character, um, to uh, whoever's place this is. Can I can I sleep, please? It's gotta be getting close. And those spiders on the roof are gonna take offense to my existence real fast. Hello, doggy. Hello. Good doggy. All right, chat. Let's see. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Let me sleep, please. I'm an old man. All right, come on, man. We have to be getting close to nighttime. And again, I don't want to open the door because I know if it's too close, those spiders are going to have issues with me. And spiders aren't that difficult, but they are just an annoyance. And I'd rather not deal with them if I don't have to. You feel me? Can I please sleep? Please. It has to be getting close, chat. Oh. Wait, what was that? I don't know what the heck that was. Let me sleep. And it doesn't say the bed is occupied or anything, so, like, I should be able to sleep once it hits nighttime. Bow, bow. Come on, man. Yeah, look, the, the sun is very low. Let me sleep. Please, 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 please. Oh, gosh, hi, dog. Hi, uh. You weird, mate. Alrighty, let's head back through. Where, where's, where's the portal? I think it's this way. Yep. Alrighty. But yeah, I have no idea whose place this is. I just... I'm gonna go home, grab a book, write a lore, like... Hey, hi, hello, basically. Um, and then bring it back and leave it in, like, a chest or something. I don't necessarily want to grab a lectern for this. Because it feels unnecessary. Um, but then again, a lot of things feel unnecessary to me. Let me get this out. I feel a little more comfortable with this. I mean, I do have sweep and edge on my sword, but eh. We'll figure it out later, chat. Yes, hello, piglets. And hoglids. Hoglids are the concern here. All right, away we go, chat. All right. Okay, cool. Ah. Yeah, even though my computer can handle it, sometimes uh, the server gets a little buggy, as it were. All right, chat, let's see. Okay. Now where is, so they're 700 meters out that way. Uh, so yeah, logistically, Mordecai would be able to find this pretty easily on his own. Because again, the one thing that um, is important, chat, is that technically, in lore reasons, Mordecai is not allowed in the nether. Mordecai would literally be on site unalived if he went into the nether. Um, if he was spotted by piglets. Um, so, logistically, he has to be able to be able to find things on his own without the use of, like, uh, actually, I only need wood. One, and I need an ink sack. Okay, cool. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see, chat. There's that. And an ink sack. Alright, we have our book. Bop. And bop. Excuse you. Don't be rude. Okay, cool. Alright, chat. Let's let's buckle down and write a lore book. <clears throat> Howdy. There. I just happened past your place on one of 
my um on one of my I don't know how to expel excursion off the top of my head, but it's fine. Um on one of my trips to find um, they're right next to a dark oak forest, so I'm gonna tie that into this. Some dark oak. I couldn't help but notice that you had some nether wart. If it wouldn't be too much trouble, could we possibly work out an arrangement? Or er, work out a trade is probably better. Work out a trade? Question mark? If not, just yeah, hands, man. That is perfectly all right. Uh, and located in the ashen grove. If you know where that is. If not, and you have access to, uh, I think I spelled access wrong, but it's fine, chat. Portal. Uh, er, if not, I noted, I saw, saw that you had a nether portal. There should be a connected route. Oh, shoot. The closest link is through uh, Crimson Forest. Much obliged. Obliged. Mordecai. Alrighty, there we go. There's that. Let's see what time it is and see if we actually have time that we can deliver this. Because, yeah, again, theoretically, Mordecai would be walking through the overworld to do this, but I don't feel like doing it right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to wait until the next day before we deliver that. But yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Alright, let's, let's see. I can't really do anything right now with that. Oh, hang on. Uh, and if it's alright, could I also get your name? Alrighty, cool, cool, cool. Now we just gotta wait for it to be nighttime so we can deliver this. That way we don't have to deal with too, too much issues. Because, like, the less issues I have to deal with, the better. Alrighty, chat. We're working on it. Let's see. It actually, hang on. Let's... Uh, try to remember how to make a lectern. 
I've made it before, so they should be by recipe list. It's a little weird. Uh, what? All right, fine, whatever. I'll just leave it in their chest as is. But because I'm not gonna sign and date it, I can't put like a title on it. Cause like, it would be like something like, you know, a trade request or something like that. I don't know. Okay, chat, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. That looks nice. I'm just, again, I'm waiting for the, the sun to do its thing. Come on, man, please. Excuse you, don't be rude. Bow wow. Um, do you have anything that I need to organize while I'm waiting for the daytime? Yeah, no worries, Salian. Um, we're just getting close to the end of the stream. We wrote a lore book. I'll read it out for you here in a second. Give me a moment to rearrange it, and we're gonna drop it off and probably end stream after that. Uh, oh, I forgot about the lucket. Uh, so for those who weren't here when this happened. Uh, my, one of my buddies, I think it was Spice, kept tossing around this bucket and calling it the Lore Bucket. So we named it the Lucket, and that's where it lives now. Alright, let's go ahead and read this book. Howdy there. I just happened to happen past your place on one of my trips to find Dark Oak. I couldn't help but notice that you had some nether work. Would, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, could we possibly work out a trade? If not, that's perfectly alright. I'm located in the Ashen Grove, if you know where that is. If not, I saw that you had a nether portal. There should be a connecting route. The closest link should be through the Crimson Forest. If it's alright, could I also get your name? Much obliged, Mordecai. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and head back up, see if we can sleep now. Come on. We have to be getting close, yeah. Bop. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And we still have our golden hat on, so we don't have to worry about piglins. Alright, let's head to whoever's house that is. Again, I'm... Excuse you. I'm not sure. My current run in theory is it's fizzies. Because uh, they've also got a lot of, like, blackstone material. Like, stuff that you would need, like... <gasps> why? 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 Why didn't it freeze? Why aren't you freezing? Hello? There we go, golly. What what was that about? That was weird, chat. My Frostwalker just didn't want to kick in for some reason. Anyway. Um, but, uh... The reason my theory is that it's fizzy is there's a lot of, like, blackstone material and, like, stuff that I would associate with, like, at least being friendly enough with piglins that they won't, like, mess with you too much. And there's also a lot of nether stuff there in general, so that's my current theory. Because Fizzy and I are the nether mobs. I am a Blazeborn, they are a Piglin. Technically, I could have also picked Piglin, but I preferred Blazeborn. Alrighty. Because I am technically both. The question is, do I want to walk through the nether to go there, or do I want to actually walk there? I may manually walk back, we'll see. Um... Because, like, I like to manually walk it in the overworld just to see, you know? Alright, chat. Let's head in and hope that hoglins don't take offense to our existence. Okay, okay. Alrighty. I don't think hoglins can fit through one block wide spaces anyway, so we're fine. Bop, 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 bow. Ba, da, da, bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bow, ba, ba, da, bop, bop. Ba -da -ba -da -da. Alrighty, chat, let's go. And we're gonna leave this in one of the chests. Alright. Let's see. Cool, cool. Okay, I was gonna say, can my, my Frostwalker please kick in? Hello, Spooter. Oh, shoot. Excuse you. There we go. Uh, what can I put this on or in? They have a chest right here. Um, 
Shoot. Hang on, let me go, let me go see if there's cows out here so I can maybe get leather. Um... Because if I could get leather, then I could go ahead and just, like, make an item frame and put it in their house. Okay, that, that's our plan, chat. And they have lots of cows, so they shouldn't mind. Alright, let's go, chat. Oh, hang on. I shall just... I think it only takes one leather to make an uh, item frame. I believe it is sticks, leather, uh, yep, okay, there we are, chat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go. All right, no worries, mate. Um, I shall see you tomorrow. Sorry that I didn't see that message until, like, now. All right, let's go ahead and where's an obvious place to put it? Probably right here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and try to walk back home. Where's, where's home? There it is. So we're gonna try to walk it just so we can kind of see what's in the area and get that mapped out. It's not as far as Honey Haven, at least I don't think it is, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. Get this kick in, thank you. Now, now I'm like, I don't know if gun shy is the right word, but like, I'm, I'm very, nervous about whether or not the frost walker will kick it or not okay cool off we go chat head back home hello fox and maybe we'll find something else on the way who knows because that's my running theory is that nikos is somewhere around here too um and nikos is fairly obvious because his is like this massive train station um so he'll be fairly easy to spot once you know we find him but for now, I just want to head back to the house just to get the the map in place. Just in case. To whoever's texting me, I'm on stream, be gone. It's probably just like an email or something. Alright, let's see, chat. Let's see what we're working with. Hop, hop, hop. Good, good, good. Off we go. Alrighty, very good, very good. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -da -ba, there are skeletons there. Be gone. Skeletons. No, thank you. I don't want to play, please. No, thank you. I do not want to play. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Bow, bow. Alright, chat. Well, if we need mossy cobblestone, there's plenty here. Okay, kick in. Thank you. Be why are they all here? Ba -da -da -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Bow. Bow. I think this is gonna take us right past Art's house. Um, so there's that. Oop, well, I do believe that there's an axolotl loose in this river. Yep, there he is. It's a wild type, actually. Um, if lore-wise it would make sense, I would actually keep him, but like... Lore-wise, Mordecai cannot touch water. Um, and I mean, he has Frostwalker on, but like, it, it just, the Asher Grove seems like a cruel pr place to try and keep an axolotl. Cause like, obviously the Asher Grove is full of lava. <gasps> Friend or men? I've never tried to like, anger one and give them a uh, flower because that's actually something you could do on our mod pack is um, if you make an Enderman angry, you could just give it a flower and it'll be happy again. So, there's that. Fun facts about the Charmed SMP. We could technically re-befriend Enderman. So they can actually be Frendermen. Now, mind you, I don't know if you can look at them again after that and they'll still be chill. I don't think so. At some point, I need to tame some of these dogs. Alright, chat. Let's see what we got. Well, what we got is going back home. Like, we, we don't got anything. We've just got, you know, everything. Alrighty, cool, cool. Head back, switch out our armor for our diamond again. Because that has water prot on it. Cool. Very good. Let's go switch out our stuff. And then we'll call the stream there. And we'll say bye to Vernon and Greta because we love Vernon and Greta. 
Okay, cool. Excuse me. Trade you. Thank you. Very cool. Very pog. All right, let's so go say bye to Vernon and Greta, and then we'll call stream. Goodbye, bye, babies. I love you. Kisses. Mwah. And mwah. All righty. Let's get up. All right. Okay, so that's where I'm going to call stream. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. I'll str stream same time tomorrow, 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I love you all so much. I'll see you then. Bye, guys.